wanted to thank the network of the National Library of Medicine and the All of Us Research Program. Without their support, uh, the Citizen Science Month activities that you've been enjoying all month wouldn't have been possible. COVID-19 myth have circulated over the last 15 months. Misinformation can be reported. So if you come across examples of misinformation, you can actually flag well, and sort of hits home that, you know, we can all play a part in curbing the spread of misinformation. come to our library you're going to be able to check out backpacks that we're putting together so that you can go out when you're hiking our beautiful trails and learn about how to leave no trace. Globe at Night is a successful international citizen science campaign to raise the public awareness of the impact of light pollution on us. It's been lucky enough to have contributions from about 180 uh, different countries uh, which is about equivalent to two-thirds of a million people participating. Seventy-six percent of the folks here have not participated in the Citizen Science Project before, which is great. Um, that makes me so excited because I'll be able to tell you about it. This is a new way of doing things, a new paradigm, a new age for science and community to make things happen for progress, for on the ground solution. And this is how citizens are participating in activities. Now the White House is leaning on us trying to get some advice on certain things. I am a senior at USC Hyper High College Prep and a student intern for the All of Us Research Program. My presentation today is going to be about the participation of underrepresented minorities in biomedical research. These are the communities I grew up closest with, and I want to encourage and educate high school students to be involved in health research. Us is a national research database that is hosted by the NIH that's trying to eliminate a one-size-fits-all approach to medicine, a radical shift in how we are each being received the best care possible. It's used by many different researchers. This is not just one research project. There's many, many researchers that will have access to this information. People are getting ready to fight fires. They're going to likely increase and they're going to have impacts on the air, but also generating toxins and benzene and formaldehyde. So all these things are not just the effects of burning wood, but the effects of chemicals that are in buildings and other places that can be generated by these fires. It's a real pleasure to join you from Australia on behalf of the Australian Citizen Science Association. I am the SDGs Research and Training Officer for Unique Mappers. Network Nigeria, uh, we are a leading community NGO of citizen science in Africa. Uh, we're also a partner for Science Starter in Africa. I am part of the Citizen Science Foundation from Chile. From the Amazon rainforest to the Andean mountains and the Patagonia, to America, it's a thriving place to do citizen science. That citizen science can be used in so many different ways. If you think about it, it's really citizen science year, right? Every day can be citizen science month, but we focus the majority of our efforts on April. So there are over a hundred events that different people from all over the world that have added to SciStarter. Many times in our lives, we may be filled with an urge to explore and discover. As we face global challenges, we may want to find local ways to make a difference in protecting endangered species, safeguarding marine systems, preventing disease, or accelerating medical research. Sometimes finding solutions through new discoveries requires a lot more eyes, ears, and perspectives than any single scientist can possess. SciStarter connects citizen scientists from all over the world to over 3,000 projects, events, and tools that folks have added for you to discover. If you're curious about astronomy, you can find a way to do real scientific research about astronomy on SciStarter. If you're curious about biodiversity, you really want to understand plants and animals in your community, 
You can study that for a citizen science project that you can discover on SciStarter. If there's a science for something, there's a way that you can be meaningfully involved as a citizen scientist.